Hey, hello there. This is Luis Palau. Qué gran placer estar de... Caring, charismatic, and even comedic. Brilliant, huh? Yeah, I thought of it myself. You know. <laughs> Luis Palau connected with people. Raised Catholic and influenced by missionaries to his home country of Argentina, a young Luis took on the role of supporting his family when his father died. In his early 20s, at his mother's urging, he went to America to study at a Bible college, where he met his wife, Pat, and eventually worked with Billy Graham, forming a lifelong friendship that led Palau to hold his own large-scale crusades in Latin America and beyond. From Colombia to the former Soviet Union, up to his final tour in Spain, the Palau organization estimates he shared the gospel with a billion people across 75 countries. Palau also helped to train and mentor thousands of the next generations of Christian evangelists. His reach amplified on radio, internet, and TV from his home base in Portland. I want you to know that this, as the ad said, is more than just a talk show. Diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer in late 2017, Palau remained active in his final years publishing a memoir while undergoing chemotherapy this is Luis Palau. and permitting his life story to be portrayed in a 2019 film that bears his name. Don't look at me. I'm a bad example. But look at Jesus Christ. He is the best. His commitment to share the love of Christ, along with his humble past, helped Palau to reach world leaders as well as those living on the margins. Another source of his passion for people, his own family. Palau telling CBN News after his diagnosis that he was prepared for eternity, although pained to leave his loved ones. I'm not begging to be healed because I don't know God's purposes and I, I trust him entirely. And the only sad thing is leave my wife and my kids and the team and a few of my best friends, you know. That's the only thing. But really, I'm ready to go. I have the peace of the Lord. Palau outlived the doctor's initial prognosis by more than two years. Heavenly Father defying the odds with a life devoted to serving the kingdom to the very end. He leaves behind his wife of 60 years, four sons, and their families. I say, I hope my boys will put on my burial tomb, you know. My father wasn't perfect, but they sure loved Jesus Christ, something like that. Hey, I'm going to say it. I'll see you in heaven. All right? Bye-bye. Palau was 86 years old.